Hello and welcome to this video on how to play GTA 4 online. Now, um, this particular page, uh, all the links are in the description for this, all these tabs here. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is first go to the downgrading guide and you, this will explain everything about downgrading your game right through from um, from the current version that Rockstar runs um, with no online modes to the original versions 1070 and 10, 1080 or the, the two latest original versions anyway. Um, 1080 being the one that became the complete edition of GTA 4. So if you wish to go and downgrade the radio, have the original music getting the game came with it, launch, all that stuff, you go for that one. What we're interested here is in here is the game downgrader which if you click on that will take you to here what you want to do is download that particular zip file then when it's done you take all the files from I was inside the folder 10.8 and 1070 and you want to take all of those and drag them over to drag them over to here um, which I've already done as you can see now it's very important that you make sure that this Play GTA 4 here is always running in administrator. For some reason, Windows 10 doesn't like the fact that you're running technically a crack, cracked version. Well, it's not actually technically a crack because it's just running these two ASI files here that help it adjust to the fact that it's running a different version. So you're, you are not pirating your copy of GTA 4 by doing this, I should point that out is still a legit way to, to play and it will still launch through Steam but it will not launch through the Rockstar Social Club. Now we go to the multiplayer in 2021 link which is also available straight from the downgrade uh, page so um, go to this and it will tell you about Citizen IV and GDA Connected. Now today we're going to focus on GDA Connected which is the one I've used in the past and it seems to work pretty well. So as you can see here, there's even, um, uh, he even recommends, now you can join a server, I prefer Jack Rockstar Games, game modes, right? That's the one I've played on, it's the one my videos are on, um, and that's the one I will be showing today. So you click on that link and it will take you to their website. What you want is GDA Connected 1.1, Oh, sorry, 1.3.7. And then once you've downloaded that, you want to look in your start menu for Jack's mini network. It's right there. And then when it comes up, you want to go to tools and game settings. And you want to make sure you browse for your GTA 4 install. So mine is in Steam Apps, Common, GTA 4. Obviously, mine's a Steam copy. Um, it's you know, obviously the common place to uh, to install it. You just want to click on that and make sure that that's the one that's opening. And then you go to select your, uh, your game mode, which I favorited the ones that I usually use. And then you turn around and you go down to um, the launch here. You click launch. And what it does, is launch GTA 4. Now you'll be welcomed with this screen. You don't want to click on episodes from Louis City. I'm pretty sure you actually can't. It won't let you. Now, if you want to change any of your graphic options or anything, that's when you do it. It's right here. I'm going to switch to my controller because it's quicker. Um, then you just go start. Now at this usual point, the GTA 4 PC version would shove you into a story mode mission would start Roman Bellic's, um, the, the Bellic color, or Cousins Bellic. Um, however, as you can see, right, now, let's put us into what it calls a rendezvous session. Now, this is obviously a rendezvous session. There are other players in this session, uh, orange, orange markers on the map, over there. He's probably going to come kill me. 
So what you do is you go to your phone and you go multiplayer and you go games, you go create match and we go free mode and you go start game before he kills me. Right, now in this setting you've got all these options. You can lock the spawn location to certain areas so you can have it so that you can only spawn down here, you can spawn down there, you can spawn there, um, or just at the airport. Um, you can also have it as a timed lobby, so it shuts down after a certain certain amount of time. Um, and one of the, f the funnest things to do, in my experience, is to put friendly fire off and then put weapons on rocket launchers only. Because with the ragdoll physics, um, you can quite literally launch yourself and other your other friends around the map. Uh, that was a very fun thing that Max, uh, Mad Max and I did a few years back on uh, Xbox 360, uh, Xbox One, sorry, uh, backwards compatibility. Right, right around the time they shut down the servers for this, actually. Um, so yeah, that's about all, really. All right. um, oh. And um, while you're in here, you can also change your model. Now, it's remembered my model from when I was recording before, which is a good thing. So, when I go confirm and start, this now has started a public lobby, which means that anyone playing GDA Connected and who happens to connect to Jack's games mo game modes, no cheats, right? Will in fact um, will in fact be able to join this if they just go into their phone, go you know, you know next games or multiplayer games, quick match, you get quick match and then go free mode. Um, usually you can find the one that's been hosted. So now if I wanted to invite my friends into this, we would go and meet up in the rendezvous lobby and then all join the the actual lobby where I was setting everything up. Um, yeah. So that's literally about it, actually. So it, it, in fact, it is it to this video. So um, if you have any questions, leave a comment for me. Uh, I'll be sure to try to get back to you, assuming it's not, you know, thousands of comments. But yeah, it's definitely a, um, a bit of a welcome change going back to this classic when GTA 5 is such a cost fuck these days, so not good enough. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, this has been my guide, and I've been Razor1640. I'm still am. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, one last point before I um, end the video about this game. Um, once you're in GDA Connected and in online, because it's not, it's not, it's GDA 4, but it's not GDA 4 as it usually works. You've got to go to game and then leave. That will take you out of the server that you've hosted. Um, and then it'll put you back into the rendezvous lobby. But then from there, you'll have to alt tab your game as, as I've just done then and uh, close it down via your task manager. That's the only way to actually close it, unfortunately.